Oh, such enthusiasm. Look at that. Okay. Try to get her face and not her back. Yes, ma'am.
All right, let's hit it once again and over the net. Whoever lets the ball hit the ground or if it goes out of bounds, the opposite team is going to get the point. The first team to seven will win. Now when two of you are on the court and you play it out and somebody gets a point, you're going to switch out with the people behind you. Because as you see over here on the wall, you have teams. And I'm going to let you know who's on what team right now. Now for group one, I want you on this side of the net. And group two, I want you on that side of the net. So group one, we have Jessie, Lucas, Stephen, Connor, Michael, Josh, Eric, Lewis, Carson, Justin H, Chris, Jason, Katie, and Jordan.
about green and pass. So we're going to work on our control right now. So what I want y'all to do is I need three people up and I need three lines behind them. This is good. Mm -hmm. I need a Great middle control, back and right back and a left Lots back. of feedback. More feedback than I've gotten this whole semester so far. She's telling them, good job, much better. Be correcting, controlling the whole class. People were talking in the background, she stopped it. If you switch off, and be sure y'all switch lines, don't just stay in the same line every time. Make sure y'all get a good look at every position, okay? And call it. So when I pass it, y'all want to pass it back to me. If it doesn't go back to me, please go get your ball and bring it back to the basket, okay? Pass. Pass. Get low. Go get your ball. Right, go get your ball. Good. Make sure y'all are calling your ball. Make sure y'all are calling it. Good. See feedback. Get under it, Dave. So she's running the class. She's not directly. Yeah. She splits it up and has somebody else do it on this one. Good! Right Four! Oh, there you go! Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Good! Okay. Good. It's okay for Great this to happen for a little while. Mm -hmm. You don't let this happen a lot. They get Good! Old. You see how long the lines are? So you can make, nice. even if it's one of them, they can still do it over there. Yeah, you can take a person that mm -hmm. maybe has played volleyball before. Mm -hmm. Well, if you move on this, you can have half the class over here now. But she would stay there for she would see both sides. Yes, so nobody's behind her. Yeah. Nobody can sneak out of class without her seeing. around till I got to that wall Make so I could see those points.
others. I guess not everybody showed up today. But while those six are on, other people are going to be playing just two on two or four on four on the other side. They're going to rotate in, okay? So, on our, our first game. Come back, Does it have to be bump set? It's five for six on six, or can we free ball? I would love it if y'all did bump set spot. But, if it doesn't happen. Gotta work on our block. That's okay. Now we're on my spike. So it's up to you. If you want to get the bump set spike in, get it in. And then the other team, remember when you're spiking, you want to jump the same time. I mean, when you're blocking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When you're blocking, you want to jump the same time as the spiker. Also, when you're going to block, watch the ball. Do not watch the people running around. Watch where the ball is going, okay? Because anybody can fool you and make you think they're going to set it over there, but they set it over here, okay? So let's see if we have full teams here. All right, group one, I want on this side of the court, we have Eric, Carson, Justin H, Chris, Jason, Katie, and Jordan. How many from that team is here? Six. Five. Six. Uh-oh. 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 AJ, it's me and you, son. Marcus, I'm going to have you join this team right here, okay? Alright, now I want group four on this side. I have AJ, Dre, Brennan R, Alex K, Ashley, and Justin D. Right here. Oh, man. Thank you, Nathan.
must be watching, not just videotaping. I know, I've been watching, but. I don't know, there's things I've, like, noticed, but, like, overall, I think she's doing really good. I think overall she's done really well, but we're talking about perfection. Yeah. She's noticing more of this side of it. So, that too, where that would, so where would you put her so she could see and control both sides? Like, back here, like, farther, the back, farther back, not in yeah. the middle. Yeah, she will back up a little bit, then she won't have her back against anybody, and she can still control. She knows they're not going to do anything. But what if, instead of this being senior high PE, let you be middle school PE? <laughs> uh. I know, like, when we, when we played volleyball when we were younger, we the teacher would spend like the whole class up to the house where it both just play on each set of the court. It was very hard to do that with all the kids in the class. I typically take this spot down here. Hmm. That way I can stand in the middle. Hmm. And my voice is big enough to reach down. But as a beginner teacher, I don't know that it is. I'm Although, loud. She, she's got a good voice for a beginning teacher. Yeah. And she has great presence. I love her presence. She makes them all listen, too. Uh, I would call the illegal contacts. Uh -huh. But I think she's trying to let them play a little bit, and so she's not. I'm, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to ask her that at the end of the time. She's afraid to stop the, you know, stop the flow of the game. Yeah. But if you let them get away with illegal contacts, they learn it wrong. Yeah, like, like we have to do that in that volleyball class. I'm taking, I'm just taking a volleyball class, and we can't hit the ball certain ways and all that. Yeah, you like class. Or we get points off, yeah. or something like that. I just say, ball, other team, you know, you lose your court, you lose the ball. AJ took my, I taught that class last year, and AJ took it. That's why he's keeping playing volleyball. <laughs> I'm taking the first one, the beginner one, Miss Trish. He was in my advanced class. You couldn't play a lick of volleyball when you He's, He's good. such a good athlete, but he picks up everything. In fact, I think all of you probably are good athletes and pick up everything. Because their skill level is so low, mm. it's not as fun as if if they could actually play better. See, like, in elementary, we play. it's fun to play, like, teach them with the, uh, the uh, beach balls. Yes, because it slows it down. Itself. And and it's not heavy. It won't hurt their arms. That's what we used to do. Well, you use a volley light mm -hmm. from anything fifth grade or below, which is a much lighter ball. Oh. Is and you let them serve from midcourt mm -hmm. and not from back in the back. And you lower the nets too. Yes. But you don't lower the nets when you got two hundred pound men in this class. Yeah. Because you'll get a girl's face broken. <laughs> girls' nets are seven four and a quarter, boys are eight. <laughs> they picked up the floater serve really a lot. I mean, they really uh, but normal people don't pick it up that fast. Hmm. <laughs> That throwing, they got that throwing motion down so well from baseball that they just. Everybody, a lot of us play baseball here. Yeah. 
I'll probably end up, I'm going to go to the doctor, I'm going to do all those x-rays, and then I'll probably, uh, I should be here in the time, but if not, I'll have my doctor's fees. We'll see what the doctor says, it's worth your participation, otherwise you may be doing this every day, grading your peers. Alright. I hope it's not, because I don't want to do stuff, I don't like sitting there doing nothing. Auburn. Auburn had to mess my up. I don't like, the, I didn't like that Auburn team. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't mention your name. <laughs> yeah, never say anything you don't want broadcast, you know. Turn it off. Yeah. 